All right, so we're live. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna say something completely different, but I need to keep my composure. My composure. Why am I having trouble speaking today? Because of my eyes, like super red for some reason. It's irritated. I don't understand why. But it is. And today is going to be a nice and relaxing <sighs> Call of Duty day. I was going to play with a good friend of mine, but admittedly, it was my fault. I got on a little way too late. A little way too late, actually. Way too late. Um, so because of that because of my dumb mistake well not dumb mistake i did admittedly have other stuff to do that i forgot to take care of but um because of that now we're gonna play by ourselves i am not even really sure how well this is going to play out because call of duty is the one game that always always gives my computer trouble without a doubt i don't know why i don't know well i guess i, I guess i kind of know why but it's like it's like way too taxing on the pc for some reason and i say for some reason because it's not like the game is even it's too, it's too early to start complaining, okay. I'll, uh... Alright, I'll wait. I'll wait before I start complaining. I'll wait. It's also... It's gonna need to restart, doesn't it? It needs to restart. Checking for update. Or not... Don't miss out the worldwide review in Warzone. More than one for three. Um, I don't know, man. I <clears throat> I have some thoughts on the new game. Uh. I I'll wait though. I'll wait till this thing begins. Uh 
Update completed successfully. Cool, cool. The volume is kind of low, actually. That's weird. Season 5. That's crazy, dude. Like, that's crazy to me that this game is still fucking... It's only five seasons long. I do not give a shit about this, but I can't skip it. I generally don't care about this, but I can't skip it. Cool, cool. Can I please skip it? Can I please skip this shit? Please. I don't fucking care about any of this. Come on. Unclaim rewards. Uh, no, I guess. Oh, Nikto. Oh, Nikto. You used to be my guy, Nikto. Continue. I don't give a shit. Sure, how much, how many points do I even have, actually? Oh, I have 900, okay. Shader optimization, okay. Pre-purchase, of course, pre-purchase, 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 rotation. Oh, this is new. Okay. This is, um, uh, this is a little interesting. Okay. Six seconds. Is it going to change the whole? Oh, okay. So it's between Ashika Island and Bondle. Oh, and each of them switch. Okay. Okay, first we gotta fix the sound, actually. Completely forgot that I had it so low. Home theater. Why do I have a home theater? Okay. Forgot that when he's doing the shader optimization thing, it's super, super slow. Okay. 
Battle Royale. Al Masra. I still Al Masra. Oh, but Warzone has ranked. Okay. Well, this is a bunch of bullshit that I don't really... I don't really care, but I'll try to play a few games, I guess. Hey, what's up, Tori? How's it going, dude? What are you doing up? Oh, it's, it's 11 over there. Huh? Still pretty early. Mystery inside. Oh, Mystery coming back to work? No way. Welcome back, Mystery. And good old Sal, el jovenazo. We're all closing together. We're all closing together, we and you. No way, that's cool, dude. She says thanks. Yeah, no problem. I wish I wish I would have uh, worked with you at least like once again before moving. Uh, but it's good to know that you're still there, dude. I, I hope that her knee is okay. And that the surgery went well. Because I know it was a bit of a bit messy. Alright, let's try to run this one. Also... I forgot to tell you. Actually, I didn't forget to tell you. I'm like, I'm fucking, I'm dumb. I was gonna text V tomorrow, but uh, I got a raise. I got a raise, guys. For whoever watches this, I got a raise. And I'm also gonna get promoted to a shift supervisor in like a couple weeks. So, She says she's sad, she can say goodbye, and she's doing well. I'm happy for her. I'm happy she's doing well. And I know there was a bunch of people that I couldn't say bye to. Um, you know, I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna see you guys again at some point, but... You know. I never know who's gonna be there when I when I go visit. It's always a... It's always a gamble, I guess. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm gonna be a shift. I, I approached my, my manager about it. Because I asked for a race initially because of the shit that I told you about. That, like, the fucking store is shit. And I told her that I needed, like... That I basically told her, you know what? The store is shit. I don't want to leave. But you gotta give me something. Like you gotta give me something because I am not staying here precisely because I love it. So it's a little, it's a little fucking wow! Oh, God damn! God damn! So yeah, and then she basically told me. She basically told me that she was going to give me the... She was going to ask the district manager to give me a race. But she was also going to ask... If... She could just make me a supervisor in the same store. Because you, know that, that, you know that weird rule about like... Once they... Give you the supervisor role and then... They have to... Uh, send you to another store and all that shit. She basically said that... I am practically new to the store so there's no need to send me to another store and that also she doesn't want to send me to another store so hey what's going on chat how's it going dude haven't seen you in a bit how's school going dude how's your week going I am playing Call of Duty today, chat, because I... I don't fucking know, dude, I... I was gonna play with a friend of mine, Call of Duty, but then I... I messed up my timing. What the fuck? Dude, I just got here, are you fucking kidding me? I messed up the timing, so I, I updated the game and everything. So I said, "Fuck it, why not? Let's let's just jump into it at least once." I haven't opened this game 
in like a fucking month, actually. And it's loud as a motherfucker. Oh! Also, is it too loud? This is like blowing up my fucking ears, man. What the sh? It's like ear bleedingly loud, dude. Um, yeah, I've been missing the stream since I don't have time. The school's been easy and smooth. Uh, I'm sorry about that. At least I, it's good to know that school's been easy, dude. I hope that it stays that way. And and don't worry about it. Like I don't. I'm not trying to give you shit for it or anything. You know. I know that. I know how school is, so. I'm just asking you because I. I don't know. I I like knowing about you guys' life. It's interesting. Let's see. Oh, he's one bullet away. Whoa, Ooh, man. Oh, I forgot. I'm not playing Apex. I'm not playing Apex. Fuck. <laughs> I don't have my controller set up for this. I need to change it. How's track going? I've been meaning to ask you how's track going. Because I know you told me that you wanted to... Uh... Well, now that you wanted to, that you were actually going to start like going at it. How do you like it? How are practice? How's practice going? Also, how is uh? God damn. Give me one second. I don't even know if I'm using. I don't know what's the meta. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know what gums. What what gums? What guns I'm supposed to be using? I'm just fucking. Been training a lot. It's been kind of tough because I'm. Because you're what? Because you're getting back in shape. Oh, when was the last time that you uh. That you practiced? That you worked out? Had it been a while before you. Went to track or what? Before I started, I took a two-week break. Almost two weeks. Ah, I mean, it's all right, dude. Come on. <clears throat> I hope you're not being too hard on yourself, because honestly, two weeks, maybe even three, is not that bad, honestly. I feel like it's it's harder just because you're you get a little like lazier. I know that's been the case for me, but it doesn't really affect you that much. Let's see. Are you still playing Warzone? I mean Warzone. Are you still playing uh <laughs> Apex? Have you gone up in ring? I see that you sometimes sometimes I play by myself without streaming. Or sometimes like I I play during my stream and I see that you're playing dude and I'm I've been wondering like what rank are you right now? God damn. My sensitivity is kind of high. I don't remember playing with this much sensitivity. <laughs> okay. Also. I play for the first time in a while today. But I'm only bronze one. I, you're still in a better position than I am, dude. Honestly, I uh, I fucked up. I fucked up big. Cause uh, 
I was in I was a I was about to get out of rookie finally and something something happened but I don't remember what it was I think I jump into game like some random day I wasn't even streaming or anything I just wanted to play right and I got non-stop teams of just that just wanted to do like hot drops hot drop after hot drop after hot drop like it was just horrible dude next thing i know i i dropped all the way to fucking rookie four again and i'm not saying it was all their fault like of course i fucked up too but what the fuck i don't want to use it and i fell all the way to rookie rookie four uh I still want to play. I'm, I'm not giving up. Let's see. I'm still playing, dude. I know I can... I know I can get up there. I've been moving all, all, all like, sorts of shit on my gameplay, too. Like, the controller, the game, the... What is it? The sensitivity... The graphics, like I actually have been trying to make it so that the game runs as smoothly as possible and I can do as much as I can. But God damn it, dude. Teammates actually make a huge difference. And then also, I've been trying something else, something new that I want to show you guys. Um... Shit, I think there's someone behind me. What the fuck? Wait one second. You're by yourself. And I want to show you guys. Because I've been playing around a lot with the idea of streaming games to my phone. So that I can play from my phone, but like full full ass games like apex or call of duty <clears throat> uh and i found a couple ways so i actually have like a full setup right now like a full full setup where i can play come on peek 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 actually you know what Correct. Nope. I don't have uh in the fucking second floor. Well, I was stopping by since the first time I caught a stream in a minute, but I'm tired, so I'm gonna go to stream. Yeah, no problem, chat. Hey, <laughs> I look. I'm just really glad to know that you're doing all right. I'm glad to know that, you know, track is going well. That's always good to know. Uh, you know, don't worry about it, dude. I know that you're tired. I know that you're, you have other stuff going on. Uh, but it's always nice to know that, you know, you're, you see me and you like click just to say hi. That's very nice of you. So I really appreciate it. But don't worry about it, dude. Go to bed. Get some sleep. You have a lot going on. You need to get some rest. I'm also streaming tomorrow either way, so if you want to stop by, you know that you're more more than welcome. I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stream Apex too, so not Call of Duty. So my dude, oh shit! No way, right? I don't know how much is the bullet drop, so I'm gonna stop doing that. And I am going to try to get out of here because uh, everyone is getting killed and I don't want to get killed. This is. Oh, come on, my dude. Shit. 
I'll be in the stream tomorrow and I'll have practice. All right, cool, man. Yeah, of course. You're more than welcome. <laughs> and hey, if I'm playing Apex or if I'm playing Call of Duty and you want to join in, you know, you can always do that too. Okay, so I don't know what the fuck am I doing? Uh, of course. Hold on, Carapicha. Yeah, hold on, Carapicha. Look at stupid ass little quips. Yeah, yeah. You know, I... <sighs> I'm not gonna complain about the game. Because I always do that about this fucking game. Because very deep inside of me, I hate it to my fucking core. I do. But I think I... More than hating the game, I hate the fucking company behind it. I cannot stand Activision. They're a bunch of rats. Ooh, no fucking way. Because all these changes that nobody likes are, of course, Activision's little ratty ass fucking hand. I'm sorry, I need to stop cussing so much. But as much as I hate it, As much as I hate this piece of shit, I am of course gonna buy Modern Warfare 3. I am. We're all gonna buy Modern Warfare 3. Because it seems like they're finally doing the right things. And plus I can always get a refund, so who, who gives a shit? So my plan is game comes out. I spend seventy dollars because I think it's gonna be seventy dollars now. But if the game genuinely doesn't have everything that they say it's gonna have, dude, first week I'm getting a fucking refund. I'm not even shit. I need a gun. I need a gun. I need a gun. I need a gun, of course. Fucking die, bitch. Nice, 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 nice. No, uh, no. You thought, bitch. I'm like, I'm trying to play as if it was fucking Apex. I keep pressing the, the shield button. Ah, nice. Can you revive me? That'd be nice. Oh, custom pair package. Oh, mask. What? A bunch of guns that actually work? Fuck, I actually really need a... Some... A gas mask. There's no gas mask or shit. No. Oh, he's one bullet away. Come on. Nice. Good work. 
fuck? Yeah, there's someone coming right there. Nice. It's all good. What the fuck? How the fuck do you know I was there, my man? Actually, you know what? This is the first uh, fifth place. This is the first time in like a year that uh, that I stream like Call of Duty and Warzone, and my computer is actually like handling it pretty well. That's kind of surprising, actually. Like, at this point, it will start overheating a lot for some reason. Well, not, not for some reason. I know why, but... 6... Oh. 3 likes. The changes. All right, let's see. I also need to go to the gym. Oh, it changes. Okay. I forgot that there's fall damage in this game. There's actual fall damage. You know what? That's funny, dude. The game is actually doing pretty well on my computer. That tells me that they are actually. Oh, there's no full screen anymore. Optimizing the game. I think my only issue, it's always the same issue though, that's, that's what I hate, like, they're taking care of the game now, when the new one comes out in like two months. What's the point, like, at that, like... I don't know. Like, it's better to have this than nothing, like, and, uh, and I appreciate it, but... It just comes across as very disingenuous. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get something going. Let's go. Is this what is that a camera yeah I don't know if I want to go in there actually oh what is that hey I haven't used this one okay oh there's no one here cool 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 There is someone over here, though, right above us. Oh, 
Black men soup. I I need to remember that there's fall damage in this game. I need to remember that there's fall damage in this game. Otherwise, I'm gonna get very irritated. What the fuck? Oh! From where? Oh. Dude, I keep playing as if it was Apex. That's how I mark the other people. Okay. This is not Apex. This is not Apex. This is not Apex. Uh, you idiot. Why? Why would you go? No, actually, you know what? Give me one second. Oh, two of them. Ah, no. Oh. <laughs> ah, all right. Come on, my dude. Uh. Oh my God, dude, get. <sighs> God damn, we're just ratting on each other. This, he's... Okay. Come on, we can get rid of this team. We can get rid of this team. Oh, I don't know if we can get rid of this team, actually. Oh, my lord and Jesus Christ himself. Please help me. Damn, did I miss Warzone 1? <laughs> I missed Warzone 1. I do. Am I? Yeah. Fucking t Oh my god, man. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean... I mean, no, I'm just, I'm having a lot of fun. This is great. This game is great. Can, this game can do no wrong. Can I get his fucking, I don't see him. Where is he? Do you see him? Cool, cool. Cool, cool. We are good. Oh, of course. Oh, my God. It does have a lot of changes though. I will say this, like from the last time that I played, which was like towards the end of season four, maybe season three. I don't, I don't remember playing season four, but it feels different. And I'm like, it can be just like me because the computer is actually running in like way better than before. I don't know if the fact that I have way better internet also makes... Well, I mean, of course it makes a difference, but I don't know how big of a difference it is. But it's just running better. It's 
It's not overheating the computer as much as it used to. The UI looks better. At least in game, the UI looks better. I don't know about menus and stuff. I, I think they look exactly the same. I need my shit. What is that? No squats to revive. I mean, no. Yeah, no squats. I use one of my guns. Ah! There's a shithead inside this building that just keeps running. Oh! He's right there. Oh, thank God. Thank you. I got you, homie. Thank you. I appreciate you, homie. Oh! 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 Getting out of there. I know, I know, I know. Come on. What the fuck is going on, dude? Their eye mi micro stuttering is off. Ah, can't believe I lost that. <laughs> but I don't know what that can be. I usually, I'm used to micro stuttering, but it's a lot. But something tells me that it has more to do with my graphic settings than the actual game. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Because I used to move... When I used to play this game more often, which but I'm not saying by any means I'm like I was a pro or anything. And I think that... I think my gameplay makes that very clear, but... When I was playing this game like a maniac with my friends, we would get into... Best settings and best controller settings and best everything. But I know that every season they twerk the game enough that you do have to mess with your settings if you want the best possible. Oh god, come on. I should have shut. Nah. No. I think I need to move those around a little bit. Oh my god, man. Yeah, because I... I'm not going to get out, but... Maybe the anti-aliasing? Or maybe the... What if I turn on the... Where is it? Not shadow and lighten. No. Oh, it's not this. Where is it? I need to find the setting. I need to go come back later. But holy shit, the game looks awesome, actually. Like for my standards, okay? I do want my sniper though. Being here is not doing me any favors, so. Please, Call of Duty gods. Let me get my loadout without dying. Thank you. Oh, we still have a backpack. Okay, so the backpack thing is still there. It's interesting. Shit. I do need some ammo though. I am completely empty. Oh, I see this guy. 
What the fuck? What was that? Hey. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we don't fucking suck. Oh. You guys keep marking shit, but I don't see anything. Oh shit, they got him. Got him good. I don't have any ammo though. Gas is coming. Gas is coming. I think this guy is... I don't have any tactical. I see him. You have to stand up, buddy. Come on. Oh, he's fucking... Yeah, I don't have any bullets, so I literally have five bullets. God damn it. God help me, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well that helped. <laughs> that worked. That worked. I'll take it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear lord, no. Not the gas. Not the gas. Not the gas. In the mid cal rounds. Go up. Oh, okay. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. In the mid cal rounds. In the meantime, Shit. yeah, yeah, let me get out, let me get out. In the meantime, I'm Wanna see best uh settings. Best graphic settings for Warzone season two season five. Cool. Uh, uh, let's see. Full screen, GPU, okay, okay, okay. V Sync, that's what it was. Forgot what it was called. I have that off, I have that off. Custom. Yeah, I got that. Eco mode. What day is today? Today is Saturday, right? Eco mode. What?
What the fuck is eco mode? <clears throat> Ashika Island. Um, sure. Graphics. High dynamic range. Ah. Oh. Okay. Focus mode. What is all that shit? I don't have a. Brightness 50, display gamma 2.2. Okay. Aspect ratio automatic 260. Okay. Apply. Custom 100. Fidelity cast. Yep. Anti aliasing. Filming SMA. Okay. Low 85. Oh, I live at 90. Normal, high, low, low, short. Normal. Dex original is normal. High? What? Low, low. Short? Particle quality, high? What? Particle level. Normal. Bullet impact on on I am a little confused by this. But uh sure. Actually, I'd rather have the smoke grenade. Uh, cool. Still stuttering. Still stuttering. Let's see. Ah, uh, come on, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? How do you know? I how the fuck do you know I'm there? Can you hear me that well? Oh no, I should have done that. Fucking die, idiot. Chill out, dude. There's nobody here. Your squad mates back on station. Good work. Target down. Marking the rest of them. <sighs> what? The fuck? What are you? Sh the sniper.
No way. So there's a one head headshot sniper now. Right above you guys. What is number two doing? Can you revive me? Where are you? Oh no, he's right above me. Help me, help me. Oh no, my dude is lagging. Come on. Ooh, he's right there. Okay, so... Oh, it's a different team. Okay. I see the audio is still kind of shit. Because I didn't hear any of them. I also need to finish setting up the... Come on, my guy. Dude, how the fuck did that not kill me? What? How? I, I, I don't get it. He was down. He didn't have any armor. How is that? He, he can take a sniper shot directly in the body when he's down and he doesn't fucking die. Okay, we're all just riding the fucking... We're all just riding the fucking loadout, so I am gonna go somewhere else. I heard something fall. Oh, shit, there's a bunch of loot actually. Let's just take our loot. Uh, sure, let's take this. And damn, this gun looks fucking hardcore as fuck, dude. Hostiles dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Enemy UAV active. Okay, I moved something that I probably shouldn't have moved because now it's. Worse than before. Who's shooting at them? Where are you going? I need a I think there's a team on the right actually. Yeah. Enemy destroyed. Use your to down the rest of them. Yeah, I moved something that I probably shouldn't have moved because now it's all
I don't want any of these. I don't want any of these. Okay. Let's see. Dude, he's right in front of you. How do you not? Come on. He, did he not hear him? Also, they didn't give me that kill. Of course, they didn't give me that kill. So, you know what? I'm not going to play this game. I'm going to get some... Yeah, I don't know what I moved, but now it's a little... The game is a little jumpy now. I need to change some settings again. Oh no. This is not a good time for a sneeze. This is not a good time for a sneeze. Whoa! Lay down. Lay down, stay down. Lay down, stay down. You don't need to worry, baby. Whoa, are you serious? Are you that prepared? Are you really that prepared? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Come on. Oh, yeah, Nikki! <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, we know Nikki is not cheating. <laughs> Are you really that ready to sh just shoot me? Come on. Oh, they, oh, he, they bought me. Oh, there's no more. Okay, that makes sense. I uh, most definitely appreciate it. I'll take... No, actually, where's my... Then my team? Take my... Oh, what was that? Hey, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to say your name. Tufted? Gar? What? Miss. Hey, what's up, mystery? <laughs> I highly. I didn't have my chat on. Thank. <laughs> What's up, Mr. How you doing? Thank you. I really appreciate it. I didn't have my... I couldn't see anything. So I have... I have another tab open. How did I get the handle? Uh, Like the burrito one? I don't know. What's because on, on YouTube? Hell yeah. On YouTube, I I mean I had this channel for oh no. Um, <laughs> uh, I had this channel for like thirteen years actually. Yeah, and what the fuck? Oh, we're the last ones. So, I don't know. I noticed that some things that I do with this channel are, like, already pre-approved. So, I don't know if that has something to do with it. Because to my recollection, there's no, no, no limits to your, like, your handles and stuff. But, yeah. So, I had it when I was 13 years old. Because me and my friends used to make videos back in the day. We used to make like little blogs and shit, and it was all very nonsensical bullshit. 
And, uh, you know, making videos is something that I always wanted to do. Oh, shit, we won. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. Yeah, that's so unique. Makes sense that you had it for 13 years. Yeah, so, and then... <laughs> I, I don't know. I always wanted to just keep on making videos, honestly. And streaming. So... I thought instead of making a new channel and a new handle and a new everything, I'm just gonna use the one that I already have. And I just I changed the name of the of the channel though, cause before it was called TF Blo TF Bloggers. Cause that's I don't know that was our that's that was the name of our gang basically. And uh, I changed it to Burrito, and then I made the the little icon that you see right now. It's kind of shitty, honestly. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. It's not not good. And yeah, and I'm streaming now because I, I used to, I used to stream on YouTube like a year and a half ago, but I had to stop because this is back when I was living in Juarez, when I was in El Paso and the internet over there was absolute shit. Like it was horrible. Like you couldn't do anything with that internet. So the first thing that I did when we moved over here is that I told Alex, you know what? We need to get the best fucking internet ever because I'm definitely doing this. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let anything stop me from trying to make something out of this. So, here we are. Also, how was your surgery, dude? What happened? Last thing I, last thing I heard about you is that you got the first surgery and then they messed up so they had to take you in again. And... Because it had to take you in again. The break had to be longer. You had to be in a leave of absence longer. And then... Uh, I know that even like your sick pay or your sick leave or... I don't know how... What's called. But it was like... Affected by it. I don't know. I heard that it was kind of a mess. But how was that? I think you need to lean into the burrito thing and you just uh, pick up a burrito for your profile pic. But yes, don't ever stop. Thank you. I appreciate it, dude. You know, you, you make a good point. I feel like that makes more sense, too. Uh. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, it's because I'm... The game is a little weird. Because I'm messing with the graphics. And quality eighty five tessellation off off shader quality medium okay. on the man texture streaming off huh. Water quality default off low okay shadow map resolution normal off spot shadow quality medium spot high particle light normal and the occlusion. I don't know if I'm doing the right things actually. This is a little weird. Like I'm gonna give it a shot, but normal state of reflection low. Oh, here it is. Nvidia low. Oh, I don't have that anymore. What the fuck? Oh, they remove this. Okay. That is interesting. Wait for him. And then view. I don't think view really matters. So let's see how this plays out. Let's see how it runs out. Yep. Okay. So surgery one, they did a whole lot of my knee and then my knee was still popping a lot and my doc order and MRI and they saw another bone fragment in there. Don't know if they missed it or if it was new. 
Oh shit. So they had to go back in and take out. But the second surgery was way easier to recover from. I was walking within like a week. Oh, okay. And half after the second one. Week and a half after the second one. But it's better. But, but good enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, dude. I am, I hope that it was not a mistake. That it was actually like a new fragment. Because that sounds kind of... If because if it was like a a mistake and they just left that shit in there by accident, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> that's, that's like you know malpractice there, right there. Like you don't fucking forget about the main goal of the surgery while you're doing surgery. Sorry to interrupt, I'm gonna crash out. Miss you, bro. See you next time. All right, Tony, thanks for stopping by, dude. Have a good night. Get some sleep. And have a great shift. Your next shift. I don't know when you have your next shift. But thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate it. Damn, mystery. And how did it go with the. Well, I. If I can ask, I don't know if this is too much, but. How did it go with the. With your paychecks, dude, because I know that you you made the last time that I saw you, you went through the drive through and I was window, and you mentioned that you told me how much your paychecks were from Starbucks because I know they do like like average or something like that, and they they pay you that in the while you're gone, but you told me that it was kind of low and that you were also like dog sitting and all that. How did that go? Were you, were you able to... Like, were they still paying you even after the second surgery? Like, from Starbucks? Were you able to do uh, the dock sitting still? Or how was, how was life during that time? Because if I remember correctly, you, you also, like left before the remodeling and you come back and it's like a whole other store right like everything that you see in the store is like new so i'm gonna try to find another game because i don't know what happened that must have been interesting you leave you come back and everything is different Have medical leave and they give us 60. Oh, they give you 66% of your average pay for the six months before. So for me, it was like 300 every two weeks. But yeah, the doctor didn't keep me afloat and my boyfriend helped me so much. Okay. Oh, that's good to know, dude. And I mean, it's great that your boyfriend was able to help you out too. Because I know it can be very stressful. I know that, like, for us, like, the moving was very stressful, too, in terms of, like, money and how much money it was going to cost to get here and then how much money it was going to cost to get here and then get in a place where we felt comfortable in the place. And and right now, it's been, like, two months, and I can say that I think, like, two weeks ago, barely, like, two weeks ago, we were able to, like, sit down and we said to each other, like, okay, now we're, like, comfortable not now we're where we want to be so it took us a bit but i'm glad i'm glad to know that you made it through that's good to know you and yeah it was hard coming back i forgot so much and i felt like some partners expected me to just run back in it and it sucked at drinks before i left already <laughs> uh like who who was giving you a hard time dude Dude, it's because you were gone for like months. You're right. That's crazy. You were gone for like months and it's not like you were there for like years prior to leaving. So that must have been difficult. It's like relearning everything twice because 
you didn't have enough time to learn them to begin with. Uh, but yeah, how's Chicago? What made you guys move? Chicago. I hope I hope Alex can hear me because she always makes fun of me. She always makes fun of me. Well, I'm I'm always making fun of her because she loves this place. So I'm always shitting on it on purpose. Um, but it's great, dude. It's it's amazing actually. I love this city. Uh, the temperature. I know it sounds like a t the typical adult conversation of like how's the weather, but. The weather is fucking nice, dude. I love the weather here. It's uh, it's super fresh. It's super nice. It's super comfortable. Uh, I'm not melting the moment that I go out on the street. My shirt doesn't have like sweat stains from me walking from my car to the, you know, from my car in the parking lot to the store, like stuff like that. It's like. Uh, the city itself is very nice. There's like a lot of things to do, like a lot. I, I never lived in a big city, so it's weird for me to know that we, we could literally do something different every week, you know, free, like free activity is new every week. I think the first week that we got here, it was funny because first time, first week that we got here. We were just talking about that, like, oh, yeah, like Chicago, like a lot of things happen in Chicago, blah, blah, blah. And it turns out that there was an, uh, a NASCAR event, like the car racing thing. They closed down downtown. They made a, a, a racetrack around downtown and they were just doing like a NASCAR event. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, you never see that type of shit in like El Paso. I was just, I was just like, my my... Alex was making fun of me and her family too, because they were like, because I mean, yeah, like, it's not going to happen in El Paso. But I was so indignant because I was like, why does that never happen in El Paso, dude? Like, we're, we're cool too. Uh... Ooh, got him. Ooh, got me. Okay. So there's that. This The structure of the city is interesting, though. And I don't. It's something that I. Admittedly, I'm not a big fan of because you know, like, like you know how in El Paso, if you want to go from one end of the city to the other, you get on the I-10 and it takes you like 30 to 40 minutes to drive like several miles, several like you know you can get you can get to a place that is like 15 miles away within 10 minutes or some shit like that, right? If you know your way around. But basically using the I-10. Here, dude, like the, the city is in like a grid. So I shit you not, if you want to travel like five miles, it takes you like half an hour. Because every street has a stop sign. Every street has a, either a light or a stop sign or something. So it takes all like for fucking ever to get anywhere. And traffic is horrible too. Like traffic is is traffic is fucking like. If you want to go, if you want to get downtown, and it's like four p.m. or something like that, it takes you a good hour and a half, like an hour and a half minimum. And if you want to get out of downtown, it takes you another hour and a half minimum to just go anywhere motherfucker how do you f how do you know me okay no weather is so important we'll wait until the winter and let me know how you're doing but you always say you like cold so it should be perfect yeah that's what i that, that's what i was telling uh my coworkers because they asked me the same thing and I was, they were like oh well it's because i hate that i hate that they talk to me like this because they're like, and do you like cold or what? And I'm like, oh yeah, like I love cold weather. Like I definitely prefer cold weather to to hot weather. And they're like, oh well, just wait for the winter, bro. You never been to a Chicago winter. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like I don't. 
fucking. I've been here before. Like I came during the winter, like three years ago, and I loved it. I I I went to like Sweden too during the winter, and I loved it over there. Even though I, my face was hurting. Shut up! Shut up! It's cold. I like cold. Just shut up. Um. What else? Traffic is horrible. Weather is extremely nice. The people are weird. Like, it's a weird mixture. Mystery. Because I think... I think that El Paso and Juarez, because Juarez is my town, have one of the nicest people that I've been to like in any other city in the US. I don't know I don't know if what is this like the nicest city in, in Mexico, but it's it, they're nice people. But here it's like it's is it's like every man on his own, basically. You know? So that's what I was telling Tori last time. You know I hate customers but ever since started since i started working in the starbucks over here i miss our customers back home i shit you not dude the people that i deal with on a daily basis are some of the most annoying ass whining ass rude ass customers i've ever dealt with no questions about it they're so rude dude and in general people i feel like people here in general are like a little bit more rude than over there like they're not as considerate and i think they're not as considerate because they know that the city is kind of uh it's huge if you want to get something done like you need to make sure that you get it done so there's no time for like being patient or there's no time to like you know, uh, little details like let it, letting the other one go before you in a fucking light or, or something like that. Like, it's, it's little details like that. It's kind of weird. Um, but I bet they have really good public transportation. They do. I don't use it, though. Because I want to use it, though. I, I, I've been trying to get into the subway and the metro. The metro. I don't know if you know what the metro is, but it's like a subway with two floors. I don't really understand the difference between those two. I don't know. I'm guessing it's like where they go. But I don't know. I'm, I'm a little lost in that. I don't know what's the main difference between those two. But they do actually. <laughs> uh, the subway more than anything. Because buses are... You know, buses have to go through the same traffic that, that I do. Or that, my, or that Alex does. But subways just like come and go, come and go all day, all day. And what else? Oh, one thing though. We recently had like a super hot day for Chicago standards. So it was like 100 degrees, right? When it's 116 degrees back there, it's hot as balls, right? You're sweating, you're like. You know, it's horrible. Here, <laughs> dude, it's. <laughs> it must be because of the lake. Cause I, I think that's what Alice mentioned. That is because of the lake. Because you have a lake nearby, right in the middle of the city. It gets so fucking humid. Like, it's suffocating. It's unbelievably suffocating dude i'm not even being ex like i'm not exaggerating it's crazy how bad it gets and i even asked alice i was like well what's that about like what the fuck oh shit what the fuck i asked alex i was like so is this normal like do you guys have this do you guys feel like you're breeding water like every summer or what 
And she did admittedly told me that it's not always like this. That it's very weird for them to be this hot. But when when it is as hot as it was that day, that uh, it's too much even for the local people, basically. It was bad, dude. Like I, we went for a walk. I was drenched in sweat. For like a 10 minute walk, I was drenched in sweat, dude. Uh, but yeah, no, dude, it's, everything has been great, honestly. This, well, not everything. I shouldn't say anything. I mean, everything. Um, I uh, I was telling Tori too the the store where I'm working right now is uh, is I work in plenty of stores, dude. I have. I think I worked in like eight stores in El Paso in total. Uh, I work in like four stores over here as well already because. But I mean, you know me, like I started picking shifts everywhere, right? I've never in my life worked in a place as disgusting, disorganized as the Starbucks where I'm working right now. Like it's unbelievably bad. Dude. Shit. I'm still doing that shit. I don't know why he's doing that. There's a lot of reasons why that might be the case. Um, but I believe that one of them is the... It's a very young store. You have a lot of young people working there. And my god, man. Their attitudes and... How they talk to each other and how they talk to customers. And I hate customers. It's like... Dude, it's weird. Like, I don't know. Yeah, the humidity in Georgia is like that too. Like you're drinking water every time you breathe. I did not know what people meant when they said that, but holy shit. I'm not getting out in 100 degree weather anytime soon. I can say that. Even if... Even if adventure is calling my heart, I, I don't think I can handle that anymore. I need to get more used to it. That's what I need. But... Yeah, the store is, is bad. And it's funny because you know how... Well, I don't know if you know this, but when V first got hired to... Well, got transferred to uh, Curvy. It was with the intention of, like, fixing the store, basically. Oh, God. So she got transferred there so she can start getting rid of people. So she can start, like, changing their ways and... Making the store a better place and all that. And so my manager, my current manager, the one that is there in this store right now, she got transferred there for the exact same reason. Because it's just that bad. It's just that bad. Oh, God. No, no, no. Let's go this way. And it's weird too because the people are nice. I, I really like like the majority of the people that I work with. They're very nice, they're very considerate, they are uh, you know, they're funny, they they know how to communicate to each other, blah blah blah, all that bullshit. So I I it's almost like I don't don't understand why the store is as bad as it is if that makes sense ah no where are we shooting i hear someone in here uh oh hehehehe <laughs> 
Okay. As long as I kill them. <clears throat> oh, great. So you have to go through the same shit again. I don't know the story. <laughs> I hope that the new manager is a good one at least. She's great. She's great. But I did have... I did need to have a talk with her. And I don't know if you were here before. I don't know if, you, if Tori told you this right now, but I asked her for a race. I did. I came up to her like yesterday. Well, like two days ago. And I told her like, you know what? Uh, I don't want to leave the store. Uh, I don't want to leave the company in general because I... You know, I may not love Starbucks, but you know, it's like a, it's a nice, it's a nice job to have like on the side, basically. When you're trying to wait, while you're trying to transition to something better, basically. And I told her, but you know what? It's uh, this store specifically is is bad, dude. Like I, I need something that keeps me here because. There's a no call, no show, literally almost, no, literally every other shift. I'm not even like exaggerating. There's a no call, no show every other shift without a miss. Yesterday we had three or four no calls, no shows. And it's people that do the same thing over and over again. Uh, the, the sales are like extremely high, like extremely high, dude. Like the demand in that store is so high and I don't understand why. Uh, and I told her, I was like, I want to formally ask you for a race because I can keep doing this with the salary that I have right now. Like, it doesn't feel worth it, honestly. So, I... I got a race. I got a race. She told me today that the DM approved for me to get like a cer certain percentage of a race and then... I'm also going to be promoted to shift supervisor in like in like two weeks, two weeks, maybe three. But that she's already talking to the DM to get that going as soon as possible. Uh, so. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's a. Uh... I don't know. I, I it was weird, too, because I never I never found myself in a place where I, I was like. I always wanted to do that, you know, like I always had it, wanted to have like that conversation of like, listen, I need more money, man, you know, but it, it was bad enough that I, I had to do it. It was bad enough that I had to do it. So way to ask for what you need. Hey, just before about it. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Cause I, I thought about <laughs> You know, like when when you think about those type of scenarios, you always think about like how you're gonna go about it. And I I genuinely just like sat for an hour while my my manager was in the back, and I was just like, how do I tell her this? Like, how, how do I tell her this? And I make and it makes sense what I'm saying. And then at the end, I was just like, well, I mean, I can just tell her how it is, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna understand. Because she, she feels the same way about the store. Because she talks to me a lot about that because we're in the same boat, I guess. So I said that and I also said... Uh, I also said, and you know what? I feel like my labor is worth it. I honestly feel like my me working here is worth like an extra fucking dollar or two or three or however you were willing to give me like i generally think that it's is worth it and she agreed when she said yes it was weird it was so weird because i finished my spiel right and then she she looks at me and she's like well you're right and when she said that it, like it was almost like in my head i was like am i like <laughs> it's like, it, like yeah yeah yeah, I am right. Like, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't expecting her to agree that fast, basically. And it seemed like she knows she needs you in order to fix so quickly, and she saw your worth. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate the comment. 
Uh, yeah, but that's what she said to towards the end. She said that she didn't want like she wanted to promote me, but that she didn't want to send me away because she she'd rather have I don't know. I guess my my labor, my ethic. I don't know. I don't know what's the right word in the store rather than just like send me away as soon as she got me basically chill out my dude i think there's like i think there's someone behind me what about you dude are you back in school what are you doing besides starbucks are you still playing video games Are you still dock sitting? Like, what's your uh, what's your status of life right now? Oh shit, that was fast. Uh, you know what? I think I think I want to change to Apex now, actually. Yeah, what's up with you? Ah, uh, what am I doing? How is V treating you? How's the store treating you? Um, I don't. I don't. Have you met some of the new partners? Uh, do you have any plans to move? Or to visit Germany, or what's up? Let's see. Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. Right. Let me change this real quick. Apex. Apex. I took a break after I finished Zelda Breath of the Wild. Before I get obsessed with another game like Zelda. Oh, you haven't bought the new... Do you have the new Zelda? Or not yet? But yeah, just been pet sitting. No more school for me. My undergrad was too stressful already. I want to do pet full time. But I'm scared to leave Starbucks. Even though we... Me. I'm not mad though because I'm tired of all my pet sitting. How many hours a week do you uh, do the pet sitting, dude? Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? Why is it showing it like that? Oh, I forgot. Uh, I need to change the aspect ratio. Let's see. How's that? There you go. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> Pet sitting is like 60. Holy shit. Do you have a lot of customers? Like, because I, I feel like you're... I, I don't know how this is going to sound, but I feel like you're one of those people that have built basically like uh, enough uh, of, what is it, like regulars? So they all know you, so they all call you when they need their their dog to be walked or, you know, just taken care of. And no, I haven't been able to get the new one. I've been waiting to buy it off with someone. Pet setting is like 60 plus a week, honestly. On a good week, and then, then if it's chill, it can be like 20 hours, which is why I'm scared to leave Starbucks for pet. Okay. Yeah, I'm working in the regulars, but it's been getting busy with everyone going out of town for the summer vacay. Oh, you're right. That's interesting. I guess I never thought about it that way. 
I never thought about everything that pet sitting like involved. Also, you know what? I'll be right back, Mister. I need to check on with Alex. Be rep, real quick. Okay. All right. I'm back. <sighs> All right. Where was I? So. Yeah, it all depends on the people when they go out of town. I need more people who need midday. Midday party breaks. Do you like Starbucks, Mystery? Like generally, do you like working there? Because I know, I know what you, I know what you mean about being scared of leaving Starbucks. Because that's how I feel right now too. Um, I, I can't say that I hate it. Because when days are not as stressful as they are, I do have fun. I do. And I love coffee. I, I love coffee. How to make coffee, how it tastes, like everything. Like one of my dreams is to open a coffee shop eventually. Uh, but I also know that I don't want to be there my whole life. And I want to leave it. And right now it's bad enough that I would leave it. 
but I'm scared because I am still waiting on my uh, counseling license, basically. And I don't know, like it's it's secure enough that I don't want to leave it. So I get where you're coming from with that. But like, do you like any of the? I don't know. I don't know how to word this question. Do you hate working in Starbucks? And if not, on a scale from 1 to 10, how much would you say that you actually like working in, for Starbucks? Let's see. How long have I been live? Oh shit, almost two hours. So I was gonna change the video settings, full screen. And there's no one online right now to play with. This feels like a weird stream because I usually... I don't know, it feels like a weird Saturday, doesn't it? I feel like everything is dead. Like, chat stop by to say hi. But there's usually like TJ or Kino or Sneaks showing up. And then there's usually like some friends playing Apex that I can just join or invite. There's nobody. The streets are dead. It's a Saturday night and it just feels kind of like slow. I don't hate Starbucks, but I wanted to quit many times for various reasons. <laughs> I feel like their values don't align with their actual daily goals. Oh, Mr. Yeah. I'm the jump master. No pressure, me. I... Let's land here. I think that's the first part of a long message, so I'll wait for you to send the, the entire thing. See, come on. So team going there. Also, this is this is not a good spot, dude. It's like four teams and we're only two. Why would you do this to us, Pathfinder? Oh nope. <laughs> that was quick. There's someone around me. No, come on. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> but then the shifts cut you off when talking to customers. I tell you only 30 seconds to connect. Like I'm what, but in general, I think I have it easy because I'm only here like two or three times a week. If I work more there, like any more than 20 hours, I will want to kill myself low key. Uh, it's so exhausting. Like pet sitting is physically exhausting, but Star Wars is mentally. That's what I've been thinking too, dude. Like that's, that's the perfect way to see it. Wait, it can be physically exhausting too uh like right now it's mentally draining and physically exhausting because well i'm, I'm not gonna get into it but 
yeah, my feet hurt. But it's, I see, yeah, I, I agree with you. It's funny too, dude, because the first time that I got hired for Starbucks, it was like, it felt like things were genuine. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, you can tell that corporate was overrunning everything like evil lords, like everyone thinks they are. But I felt like they were at least trying to hide it. And right now, it's just, it's just, it just feels like you're, you literally feel like you're just a cog in the machine. That's it. You know, that's it. Like, that's all you are. And they make it very clear that that's where you are. And uh, like you said, like they have a lot of connection goals and the third place and it has to feel genuine and our workers care and everything. But but then you actually work there and it's like, holy shit, these people don't care about me one bit. Like this company does not give a shit. Uh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. So I was going to tell you, like, I, because I was going to make a suggestion, uh, but that was only if you actually, like, enjoy any part of working there, which I don't know if you do. <laughs> like, is there anything about working there that you actually enjoy? And I'm genuinely asking you because I know that. I know that that is not always the case, you know, and believe me, it's perfectly acceptable to hate every aspect of that place right now. Ooh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I lost my insurance coverage because I didn't have enough hours in January and February before my surgery. They gave you 20 hours a week. Yeah, it's weird, dude. I... Also, yeah, that whole hours thing is so stupid, too. I don't understand. I know that they measure hours differently now because before labor was measured in a way that would actually make it so that everyone had enough hours but right now it's like just the fact that the hours that you have available for the next day depend entirely on how many transactions you're running every 20 30 minutes i feel like it tells you everything that you need to know about you know the pri the priorities basically of of starbucks so I hear someone. Where are they? Oh, I see him. Enemy over there. I got a jump pad if y'all want to come from the outside right here. Shit. Come on, follow me, follow me, follow me. Cool, go, go, go. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, no. I fucked up. Ooh -wee. Got him. Nope. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, one second, Destiny. Let me just. Don't die, don't die. Holy shit. Oh no. One second. Infinite ammo? What do I have infinite ammo for? What the fuck? Of that 
Whole squad right here. Give me one second. Oh shit. Got him. Hey, my teammates are actually good. Medkit, grenade. Actually, you know what? Got you. Go stay close, stay close, stay close. I got you. Oh, I fucked up. It's alright though. Okay. I do enjoy it most of the time. I love talking to people and most everyone that works there. Because I'm barely ever there. Yeah, you're, you're a very uh, people's person actually. I, I do remember that. And I do remember that because I remember that you you su ship supervisor would often get your attention because you would speak to customers a lot. <laughs> You're right. I do remember that. Um, that's because it's, it's uh, mixed feelings. I don't know. We could talk about this the whole night, honestly. But... I don't know. I feel like if it generally makes you unhappy, but you have an alternative, dude. I think you should probably go for an alternative, because I like if I, I hope I'm not oversharing there, right? But the first time I, you know, I, I enjoy. It. I feel like the first time I was happier there, but ironically. When I started feeling the same way that you're feeling right now. And I stay there voluntarily for like. Enough months. I think it was like the last three months of me being there the first time. I got to a place where. I was miserable, dude. Like I was. I, I was. I'm not exaggerating. I was legit like suicidal. My mental health went unchecked for so many months and everything was just horrible. So have you tried looking for other jobs? Have you tried searching in similar places? I know that Target, you know, the Starbucks that they have at Target, they pay more and the hours are basically like part time. It's more realistic. The workload is not nearly as much. And ironically, I think that Target Starbucks actually do focus on Target on like customer connections and talking to them and all these things because they don't have the same goals that like a Starbucks has and and all that, you know, like they care about being there for the customer and talking to them and all this. They don't care about numbers. They don't care about how many transactions you have every 30 minutes. They don't care about all that bullshit. They just want you there to make coffee and talk to people. And that's just great. Honestly, that, that that's what, that's what Starbucks should be. Let's see. Nobody over here. Let's see. It's go time. Let me hide a little bit so I can read the message. Yeah, it's scary probably like if you thought about doing your own thing in the shop, although that will be a way if it's any business. <laughs> hey what? It would, but I think it's. I think it's worth it on the long run. If you're really good at what you're doing, and you know you got it in you, I feel like it's always worth a shot. You know. 
I don't know, Mister. I think I think you. Bro, merch the prowler. For You're me. very likable. I'll say that. I never grabbed this. You're very nice and easy to talk to as well. So. Maybe not right now, of course, but like maybe in the long run. Maybe in the long run, you never know. Uh, I can't believe that wingman is actually working for me. Sorry to hear that you went through that. Yeah, it was. Uh, Weirdly enough, it was back when, uh, oh, the Craver. Oh, Craver and it. Yeah. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, shit, somebody right here. Weirdly enough, it was, like, all that crap of me getting suicidal and going through, like, severe mental issues. Started. Someone had grabbed the Craver. Okay. When Starbucks started going through their changes that they're going through right now. Oh shit, not the Craver. No, no. Oh no. Ah! Give me one second. Ave Maria. Gratia plena. Okay. Yeah. My manager was very bad. Everything was bad. She only cared about numbers. She started overworking the shit out of me. People started quitting. It was bad, dude. I don't know. Oh no, he got fucking beam. Shut up, bitch. You fucking die in front of me. Wait, what manager? It wasn't B. <laughs> Just to make it clear, it wasn't B, dude. Yeah, no, it wasn't B. Why would you ask me to get you up when we have a fuck? Why would I get him up? What the fuck was I was thinking? Why would he ask me to get him up? You know, Paso though? Yeah. That manager got fired too. Like, very short after. After I quit that first time. Uh, she got fired. Because she, she was doing some gnarly shit. <laughs> she was she was doing some gnarly shit. Nah, no, that was like that was like three years ago, three or four years ago. Um, she just wasn't a good manager. Let's just leave it at that. Like she was just wasn't a good manager, and uh, I think I was. Even though I was doing school full time, and I was doing like a lot, of, a lot of other shit, she was still scheduling me like between thirty-five to forty hours, and then she would call me every time she needed help. And <clears throat> you know, it's flattering, but also when she would do that, but then she would always like scold me for the the most minimal shit, and she would talk to me in the back about how my, my performance was like falling and how my attitude was not the best anymore and all this and i'm like dude you're you're making me work like 40 to 50 hours a week on top of uh like school and church and all these things that you know that i'm doing and then she would do she towards the end she started doing this thing where she would make me close like she would schedule me for close and then she will also schedule me for opening or like five 6 a.m. the next morning so of course it started happening that i would show up to work and i was like 
not there you know like mentally i was fucking gone like i was just doing stuff but i was not having a good time i was like stressed out i was like i was fall i was falling apart so that was personal with the closing open that's what i thought too at one point because so the she was trying to give get a reason to either fire me or fire alex because this is back when uh her and i were started dating and she was my supervisor right so we knew that it was not right they, like from policy when that starts happening if it starts happening one of you guys has to be sent out to another store right so of course i i knew that alex needed the job because it was closer to her house and all these and all these things and so i told her manager i was like you know what i don't i don't mind being sent out to another store like i don't give a shit you send me to another store it's fine and she was like oh well it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a little bit but uh are you guys sure blah 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 and i'm like dude just just send me to another fucking store i don't care i like this doesn't have to be a big deal i don't know why you're making it a big deal just send me to another store so of course the transfer took longer than usual and in that longer than usual she started doing a lot of tom fuckery like that with me with alex like she would push us like to our limits just to get a reason to fire us basically because she wanted to fire one of us <clears throat> and so she did that but i was able to outlast it somehow i got sent to another store and uh, and she was able to get to get alex fired though for one of the dumbest fucking reasons too like she she got her fired and then she got fired <laughs> within two weeks of alex getting fired too like i think that i think that tells you what kind of manager she was when enough people spoke against her in a period of like three weeks that she got fired like almost immediately so i mean i don't know what she was expecting right but but anyway i don't know I'm, we're getting we're going on a tangent right now point is have you tried looking for another job <laughs> Have you thought about applying to another store, another corporation, uh, another coffee shop even? Oh no, I think. Fuck, I think this guy's a bot. Oh no, he's moving, okay. Also, Oh no, I was gonna I was gonna ask you what are you doing up so late, but it's it's barely 1 a.m. over there, right? Oh not the devotion. Not the devotion. This gun is shit. I fucking hate it. Got him. Got him. Give me one second. Got him. Come on, dude. Oh, no. They're dead. You know what, guys? I think I'm just gonna craft you because I'm not gonna go for that. I know you don't sleep much. I don't remember that much. Dude, you're kind of like me in that way that you go to bed like super late. Can 
the yam up because of the clothes it's pumpkin season and all that uh, what time do you guys get out what the fuck so you got out like late this late What day is it? It's Saturday. It's not clean play. Let's see. Do you play Apex Mystery? Or do you play any shooter? Uh, I don't like the... Actually... No, actually, I'd, I'd rather have this one. Let's see. Oh, oh no, I already have that. Never mind. I don't know if I should go to the gym, dude. It's like 2 a.m. Should I go here? Oh! Move, 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 move! I don't know how you can do so calmly. Do what so calmly? Like, playing shooters? Get the fuck out of here! Oh, there's a guy! We got it. That's right. Ah, oh, they're die. They're die again. They died again. They died again. No. Whew. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Recharging shield. Motherfucker, man. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> uh, I brought my teammates back and they just died within a minute. I'm not the best at Apex, but come on. I don't know how you can do so calmly and all. I used to play Call of Duty that time when I was high school. Too much adrenaline. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's just the competitive side of it. I think it's cool. Plus, honestly, it helps me out more when I'm not playing games like this to get people on this on the stream. That's how I got the the viewers that I have right now. Which, mind you, I know that like. None of them are right. Are here right now? They're probably asleep. Because I'm I'm usually streaming like earlier than this. But I I don't know. I, there's something about the competition, and just like how quickly a game ends and the next one begins. I don't know. I think it's fun, M fun, mindless, mindless fun, basically. And now we got up at like 11.10. Use takes a minute to decompress. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right about that. Also, you guys had the... We had the launch the same day, right? The 24. How's the pumpkin season treating you guys? Because over here is fucking crap. I We got pumpkin, though. I, li I like pumpkin, so... I guess... I guess we got that going for us. Yes, go to the gym. Why not? It's 2 a.m. Shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I think I'm going to go live for another 43 minutes. Like three and a, a three hour stream sounds good. But also... Alex leaves for work at 6 a.m. So that's in four hours. Introducing Lord Champion. 
And if I go to the gym, that's like a good two, two, two and a half hours. I practically, <laughs> I'm practically gonna be coming back around the time that she goes to work. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to do it. It's been hella busy on launch day. They got a, a midnight. I can see that. Dude, on launch day? <laughs> we closed on a two man on launch day. Oh god. Oh god. No! No! He's one shot, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On launch day? We close on a two man because <sighs> this is so fucking irritating. We ha we had two no call no shows. Shit. I got you. No, a fucking blood hunt. He's gonna die. He's gonna fucking die for sure. Revive me, revive me. Don't do it. Uh, because we had we had two no call no show, and then for the closing ship we had another one. And then the girl that was covering that no call, no show injured her foot during the shift. So she had to be sent home. And then the third man left like at 6 p.m. So from like 6.30 or maybe 7 p.m. until close, it was just me and the shift. And it was horrible. It was bad. I got home. I hugged Alex and I didn't move for 30 minutes. A two man, how's that possible? It, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't possible. Like we left a horrible close because we couldn't keep up. We couldn't do floors. We couldn't clean a bunch of shit. We left the back completely undone because we just kind of like clean the Mestrenas. We cleaned the coal bar. The Vertica, because we have a Vertica on, on this store. Like the new coffee machine. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we clean basically the most important stuff for the store. And then we left because even our manager was like, you know what, guys? Just leave. Like, we'll deal with it tomorrow. I'm sorry that that we that you guys left. We're left alone, basically. Uh, and that was on launch day, dude. Like out of out of all the days that that could happen, it's just my type of luck that on fucking pumpkin day launch day is when everything falls apart. So, like I said, it's been fun. <laughs> like I said, like I said, it's been an interesting experience in that store. So. Let's see. Oh shit. Here we go. Do you usually watch uh streams, Mystery? Like do you watch streams on, on YouTube or Twitch or, or Kick? I guess let's see how tired I am at three and if I'm too tired I'll just go to bed but if I'm not tired I'll just 
fuck my sleep schedule even more and go to the gym. Let's see. There's fall, trigger zones, linear. Can prevent UV from the same amount of chance. Good. This is good. Mouse and keyboard gameplay. I guess I can use compact now. I'm 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 pretty familiarized with the game. I think I can change this. Flood enhance. Uh, cool. Okay. Video. I I you know I, it's funny that you mentioned the Legend of Zelda because I, I streamed that for a little bit. The Tears of the Kingdom. I streamed that for like a week, almost. Almost a month ago. Because I wanted to stream something else. Because I always stream like shooters or... I, I guess I like uh, like a PvP type of game. Like Apex or Call of Duty or Dead by Daylight or... Uh, or a story driven game that is relatively short. Like Resident Evil 2 or 3 or 4. Stuff like that. <coughs> But I wanted a break. Hey, ¿qué onda, Sebas? ¿Cómo está? <laughs> Love you, miss you. También te extraño, Sebas. ¿Cómo andas? Gracias por saludar. Uh, I've gone through phases for I watch streams, but pretty rarely. Most of this when I go to person per se, but I do like watching gameplay. I've been binging. Who is that? Mo Moiskerm? Mois Moiskerm? Super Bunny Man vids with Ryan. You should watch it if you haven't. And that's so sick. You stream so much. So uh, it's an awesome. Who is that? I never heard of that. Is it a guy, a girl? Also, Super Bunny Man? What? Is that a, a game? Pasa de la chica, burrito, ya va a dormir y te viene directo y pues puses. Ah, muchas gracias, Eva. lo aprecio mucho. Que descanses, carnal. Te extraño, te quiero mucho y espero que todo esté bien por allá. Espero verte cuando vaya de regreso a saludar a la familia y a los amigos. Oh, so I stream Zelda for like a week, Mystery. But honestly, dude, I, I think that long games like that Long games like that, like Legend of Zelda or No Man's Sky or... There was another game that I played recently. That it was like extensively long. Or like Hollow Knight. They're good for streaming when it's like the first week of the, game, the game's release. Because otherwise... They, they can be like pretty low, I mean pretty pretty slow games to play. Like, I was having a lot of fun playing The Legend of Zelda, but I realized that it was probably not a very pleasant experience for the viewer because there were long periods of time where I was just running across the map, not doing anything. So... But Tears of the Kingdom is nice. I liked it. I haven't finished it, though. I don't, I don't think I'm even past the first, uh, shit, it's a, you know what, I wonder what we'll find over there. <laughs> I'm not past the first, uh, section of the game, not, not that literally the first section, but like, I mean, you know what I mean. Get away from the, nice. Like, I, I can't wait for Spider-Man 2 to come out because I love the first one. I didn't play uh, Miles Morales because I'm not... I don't really care about that character. But I can't wait for the second one because it is a long game. I mean, it's not a long game. I'm, I'm like, focused on this shit. 
it's not a long game it's a story game and i can buy it by the time it comes out so i'm hoping that it will bring some traffic to my channel i also want to i'm also working on a video that i hope i may be able to release by the end of august like a not a video essay it's just like uh have you ever seen uh, drew gooden Yeah, it's a lot of traveling. Like, sometimes too much traveling, honestly. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's do this one. Evil. My favorite kind of loot, the kind that's all mine. Already have that. Already have that. No, no, no. I I want to make a video like the ones that he makes because I made video essays on the past. But my issue with those is uh they take the longest time because the editing can be so extensive that it's just it's draining it's draining to make those type of videos. So I wanted to make one on the style of like Drew Gooden. And I wanted to make it about how I met your mother. Because it's a show that I genuinely love. And I have a lot of thoughts about it. I watched that show like at least from beginning to end, at least like he's right there. God damn it. That was so bad. At least like eight times. So I know that I have a lot of things to say about this show. And I know that I can make it in like a comedic enough form to make it interesting i also ironically the you are uh tuning in right now i want to make a video about <laughs> how about starbucks funny enough i want to make like a review of what it's like to work at a place like starbucks for people who are not familiarized with uh with that and I want to make it comedic and I want to make it a little fun but ooh, shit but I want to call it something like working for Starbucks the ultimate review let's see oh shit what the fuck I'm in the middle of the fire, my dude. Why am I slowed down by the fire if it's my teammate's fire? I've been bamboozled. I've been by Boozle again. Oh, I see him. Pressure pack, I don't need that, I don't need that. Da, 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 da. Remember who hooked you up? I've got okay. no Oh I love that, yeah, I watched the show so much also growing up. Oh, I <laughs> it's funny that you say that because I uh I watched that show the first time that I watched that show I watched it all the way, right? And the ending fucking broke me, dude. I couldn't take it. I was, I was genuinely sad 
for like a week or two. Like I, I could not believe that they finished that show the way that they did. And it made me so sad that all the times that I watched it after that, I, I would skip the ending on purpose. Like I will watch all the way to, oh, these guys are not going to fucking let me alone. I will watch it all the way into like season nine, midway through season nine. Shit. You know what? This is not going to work. What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, this is not good. And then I will just stop. And I will just rewatch the series again. Like I will go season midway through season nine and then go back to the first season. Because I couldn't take it. However, this time around that I'm watching it again. It's funny because I am like I'm about to finish it again. Like, I'm on season 9 episode... What is it? Like, episode, like, 13 or something? It's almost at the end. And I really want to watch the ending because so many... So many of my thoughts about the, the series have changed this time around. It's crazy. So I want to see the ending because I want to see if this time around, after like three years of not watching the show, I want to see if the ending changed for me too. Like how I perceive the ending. Oh, they're fighting one another. Activating jump drive. Ah, go! Oh, that's what I was thinking too. What you mentioned about Hasseli. That's why they didn't want to make it. So the the Starbucks video was or, originally going to be the first video that I released after a long time here. Because there's plenty of things to say about it, right? But then I thought about it and I was like, what if for some random ass reason my video ends up like getting enough traction and then Starbucks sees it and I get fucking fired, dude. Like, So I have to change it. That's why the How I Met Your Mother video is going to be my, my first one. Because I, I can see the consequences of fucking talking about the big green siren without their consent. So my plan is I release the How I Met Your Mother video and probably like another two extra videos. And by that time, my license should be here. And once my license is here, I can start applying for other jobs. So I'm not going to be tied down by, you know, by my job, basically. So that's the plan, Stan. Uh, shit, this is bad. Uh, it's fine, actually. It's fine, you guys. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, I saw what I did to my mom at the last episode. I said, nope. You know what's funny? It's funny that you mentioned that, uh, like, growing emotionally, because I... A lot of things that happen in this show... My perspective on them has changed so much, dude. Because the last time that I watched the show, oh, I think it was probably like... I think I was like 21, 22 years old. And... Watching the show now... Is... Interesting. Like a lot of the shit that Ted does, for example. When I was younger... I will try to justify it a whole lot more. I will try to see a point of it, you know? It was like, uh, oh, yeah, like, I can see why he does that. Or, oh, yeah, like, he is clearly on the right. Or, oh, yeah, he is uh, not a bad guy. He's... 
everything that he does is justified because he's searching for the one, blah, 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 etc., etc. And now it's like, yeah, there's a guy over there. Oh my god, dude, my shots are fucking horrible. What the fuck was that? He's one shot. Oh, thank you. So, like, the first big change that I noticed is that I think Ted is a fucking asshole, dude. I cannot stand Ted. He is genuinely so selfish and treats every other person like crap. Like, it's unbelievably how much I. How much my perception of that character has changed. The other one is that I also think Robin is incredibly annoying, dude. Like, she is so self centered, too, and everything is about her, and everything is about. Shit, you know what? This is not gonna happen. Dude, I don't have. No way. No way, right? No way I go out like this. I'm gonna fucking die in the storm, dude. I'm gonna die in the storm! Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, my... I keep forgetting to change this. I need to change my bot. I think it banned some of your messages. Let me see. I can still see them. Don't worry about it. Uh... See, that's such a... What? An interesting perspective. Instead, I think a video on it would be super cool because, yeah, he really is a dick. That's what I, that's what I thought, too. Like, that's very interesting. Because the first time that I watched it, it made so much sense to me that he was the protagonist of the, of the show. Because it's like, oh, yeah, you're watching someone just trying to figure out, like, their love life and, you know, who is going to be the mother of their kids and... You know, like it made so much sense. <clears throat> but now that I'm watching it, it's like, holy shit, Ted is a fucking asshole. Like I, he, he's like, I think I saw on a website that I think the total number of women that Ted goes through during the ninth season is like 55 or 57. So you, then you think about it and it's like. That is a lot of people, you know, like that's a lot of women that you are just kind of basically using to just have a good time while the, the, the one shows up. And I say using because he, I think the majority of those times he admits to the fact that he doesn't think that who he's dating is the one. So he's just kind of using them to have a good time and not feel as lonely so then you see that and you're like huh what the fuck and barney like he's actually kind of a predator in more ways than one isn't he he yet he has all these redeeming qualities and moments of clarity of i don't know it's weird now you say that i never thought about it no i said word that rhymes with yeah yeah I, I, re I read that too yeah i need to turn that off he keeps doing that you see, Barney is another interesting case, too, because, like, Barney, like, don't get me wrong, Barney is a fucking, like, sicko. Like, he's a, he's full sicko mode, the whole series, right? Sleeping with 200 women, I don't fucking care who you are. If you sleep with 200 women in a span of 
I think he, he I think he does that by season five or six. So I think that's like four years. If you do that in a period of four years, you need to reevaluate some of your life choices. Cause something is not right in here. You know, like some, there's something wrong like in here and in here. But I let's put it this way. The first time that I watched the show, or the first few times that I watched the show, my tier list for characters was uh, probably Ted was number one, then Marshall, then Lily, then Robin, then Barney. That's more or less how I liked them, right? In that order. And now it's like, I love Marshall. Like, Marshall is my favorite character of the show. And then Barney, and then Lily, and then Robin, and then Ted. Like, it's almost completely flipped. And the reason why I like Barney as much as I do is because I, I, I generally think that I haven't seen character growth written in such an effective way in a long time for a sitcom let me make it clear for a sitcom because i know there are way better shows and show that are able to show like character growth and all these things but in a sitcom i don't think i think barney is like a perfect example of that i do Die, motherfucker. He's one shot. He's one shot. Give one second. Oh, boy. No way. No way, dude. No fucking Oh I killed him too. We traded. No way. We all died. <laughs> we all just fucking died. Oh boy. Okay, what was I what was I saying? That's what I think, and I never noticed that. I I I I kind of recall thinking that I got very angry by how they just kind of reverted everything that Barney did towards the end. And that got me angry, but it wasn't nearly as much as the revelation that the mom is dead at the end. You know? Like, that one just took the cake. But now that I'm re-watching the series and I'm watching, like, all these things that Barney does... Like, he's a piece of shit with women. Don't get me wrong. Like, I can't justify that. He he genuinely is, like, super bad. There's no way of, like, making him look like a gentleman, basically. Or even just a man. Like a... Like an honest man to women. But as a friend, and just how he tries to make himself redeemable for the sake of Robin... And just his way of dealing with the loss of his father and his way of dealing with the fact that he grew up without a dad and that his mom did everything. It's like, it's fucking amazing. Like I never, I never noticed that until right now. So now one of the main reasons why the show is making me angry is because I'm realizing all these things knowing full well that at the end he just kind of reverts back to being a fucking idiot playboy and that's basically it like all these nice things that they give him as a character i are just thrown away to the trash so that the focus can go again towards ted and robin and it's like dude really like it's it's so dumb like <laughs> i don't know 
All Elite has a first minute more for me. Marshall is a close second. <laughs> I the only the only reason why I put Barney on top of Lily is because Lily is not always. Lily can be can be a little like Lily sometimes is written in a way that makes her unlikable because like if things don't go her way she she doesn't care throwing other people off the board if that makes any sense you know what i mean i'm the job master time to make some jaws drop i think that the best way i can put it is you know how they have that saying in the show of like aldrin justice which is basically what lily does to get her own personal revenge on people if oh what the fuck it's just me now if things don't go her way or if things don't go the way that she thinks is fair i think that's a like i think they go overboard a little bit with that like some of the shit that lily does can be very arbitrary if that makes any sense like it's so like it's so much based on just what she thinks that sometimes it's like i don't know like that seems a little unfair that, that seems a little weird oh he, he is online what the fuck And then Marshall, Marshall is number one for me because he, he is, <laughs> he's such a great friend and he's very true to his convictions. And I don't think I can remember a single episode where he actually crosses his friends for his own selfish purposes. Like he is just on the clear basically. And the only grudge or the only moment where I see that he is negative or that he is very uh, resentful. And I don't know if it's rightfully so because I had this conversation with Alex actually about it, about this exact scene. But it's when like he's fighting with Lily about how he took the job as a judge without telling her and like all this. And then that Lily is basically telling him, like, oh, you're so selfish. Like, I, I've never been this selfish to you. How can you do this to me? Blah, blah, blah. And then the dude is just like, you left me. You broke up with me to go to San Francisco and become an artist. And how do I not know that me and your kid and everything that we're doing right now is just a consolation prize because you couldn't make it. So when he says that, I'm like, holy shit, like. It feels like such a genuine argument too. But I am also thinking like, well, he kind of has a point. Like, uh, like, yeah, he comes across as very resentful. And like, he's been holding a huge grudge for like eight years, even though he's already married and he has a kid and they're doing all these things together. And like, what the fuck? But I think he has a point. Like, that's... uh. It's fair to think that Lily is just there because she just couldn't make it as an artist. Uh, you know what? Let's throw this here. Let's throw... Okay. And then Robin... I don't know. Robin wasn't my favorite character to begin with. Uh, she's alright. 
But she, she. The thing about Robin is that she comes across as having extremely extreme pick me girl type of vibe. You know. I don't know if that was the intention. I don't know if they were writing her like that. Uh. But all that little shtick of like. I was raised as a boy, and all I know is boy things, and uh, and oh, all of you guys are bitches, and I'm the real man, and uh, oh, girls cry so much. Why do girls cry so much? Why can girls just be a little bit tougher? All that is like, I get it, the very first seasons, but then as time goes on, it's like, okay, like, chill out like you don't i feel like he i feel like she gets uh her character gets written down to just that one quality of her towards the last seasons that's all she is she's just a girl that reminds everyone that she is a better girl at being a girl and that she's a better boy at being a boy and it's like okay you can shut up now. Like you can just cool. If that's all you are, the cool. But like, Thank you. but shut up. It's annoying. <laughs> yeah, that part made me think Lily a whole. I mean, like Lily a whole lot less, and that was a emotional side too. Like, for reals. But I gotta. Well, maybe it's not. Oh, thank you, mystery. No, yeah, of course. Thank you for, dude. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for chilling with me for so long and for hearing me rant. I really appreciate it. I'll be here anytime that you want to stop by. And I hope that you get some sleep. Get some rest. And have a great weekend, Mystery. I really appreciate it. See you later. Uh, you know what? Oh, shit. Are you fighting? You're not fighting, are you? I don't think he's fighting. Or maybe he is, actually. No, he's not fighting. Champion's gone. Guess I'll give the title to any old joker. Replicator incoming. Let's make ourselves something nice. Oh, it's always nice to hear from old friends. Let's see. This type of conversation also makes me realize that I talk too much. I definitely talk too much. Uh, nope. And the ring's been Proud of you, fellas. <laughs> Proud of you, fellas. Where are you going, my dude? We have 45 seconds and the next ring's right there. Don't leave anything good behind. I don't like that my minimap is not rotating. We've got 30 seconds to get to the next ring. If you go down, I'm not carrying you. You don't talk too much. <laughs> good night, mystery. <laughs> I thought you weren't here anymore. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Go to bed. Thank you. We've got ten seconds. I hate to say Minimap it, rotation. Go. This is oh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, he's back. Let's see. 
Why does my teammate show like he's so blind? Uh, let's see, car, hemlock. Mm, I feel good about this care package. Shall we? <clears throat> I need a. I need a. Oh shit! I see him. God damn it, dude! This is not fucking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's fucking go. You know what? I actually don't have any good shields. Come on. Thank you. Motherfuckers are not gonna leave us alone there. Shit. Let's head that way. Crossing jump drive. Also, how is it that there's so many teams left, dude? Fuck. Recharging my shield. Don't get too nappy. Frag out. Looky here. I'm in that very bad ring. Check it out. Care package coming. Use it a feed. What's the raid doing? Why did they just run away? Mm. Damn, it's still 10 squads left? What the fuck, man? Yes, yeah. Here's sterilizer. Beleza. Another beautiful. Yeah, back to our. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if 
if I want to do this, but... Oh, come on. Ah! They're right on top of us, yeah. Don't do it. No, they're gonna... They're gonna kill us. Shit, I don't have... <clears throat> this is legit a very bad spot, actually. Seven squad less? Why do I still have negative 50 OP? What? Why do you still have a negative 50 LP? What? What in the fuck is going on there? Yeah, they're up. <clears throat> okay, I think this is gonna be my last game of the day. Where? Fuck? How did I get down twice? What the fuck is going on? He's dead. Yeah. What? What are you doing, my dude? I don't understand what's going on, but this seems like a good stopping point, so... Get 
You haven't seen him? You haven't seen him? Also, five likes? Hey, nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Don't do it. Oh, no, actually, that's a great spot to do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. It's a guy right in front of you. Yeah, you saw him. No way they haven't seen him, dude. What the fuck? He's dead. He's dead. No way he makes it, right? Oh. Second place. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how much LP I'm getting from this game. Because I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Links just left. Eighty-five. Only eighty-five. Uh see should i keep playing three hours dude three hours god damn mm. Okay, if I don't find a game, my three. I'm getting out. Five days. Da, 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 da. What data plan? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh shit, that's interesting. I didn't know this. Okay. Okay. Well, it seems like that's gonna be it for today then. Which is fine by me. I don't know why my camera looks so orange, but it's fine by me. Okay. I am tired. I am admittedly hungry for some reason. Well, not for some reason. I haven't eaten much today. I need to get some food in my system before I go to bed. Go to bed. I have to wake up early in the morning. Literally in a few hours. And it's been a great stream, actually. I wasn't expecting this much uh, interaction. I wasn't expecting all friends to show up i wasn't expecting uh, anything that happened today but i really appreciate it i'm gonna call it a night though it's 3 a.m of stuff to do in a few hours uh, but anyway uh thank you so much for anyone that stopped by i really appreciate it thank you for anyone that sent a message that subscribed that watched me for five minutes two minutes an hour six hours 
three hours. I'll be streaming tomorrow in the morning. Maybe not that early, but in the morning. And that's going to be it for me, guys. I'm going to go to bed. I need some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye.